Hi, thermal infrared cameras are increasingly being used in various applications. Here we show our quadrotor navigating autonomously at night. It uses a thermal camera to build a map and to determine its location. However, commercial off-the-shelf thermal cameras introduce photometric errors. Notice how the appearance of any object changes over time as the video progresses. This makes them unusable with standard computer vision algorithms, as you can see that feature tracking fails here. There are two major types of these errors. You may pause the video to take a closer look and refer our paper for details. Algorithms to fix such errors for normal RGB cameras exist. So can we use them for thermal cameras? The answer is no. RGB and thermal cameras work very differently, and they have different error profiles. Thus, we need specific algorithms. In this paper, we present an algorithm which sits in between thermal camera and any downstream computer vision algorithm to correct for photometric errors in real time and preserve the low contrast in those thermal infrared images. Our method has shown to improve the robustness of downstream algorithms. For example, SVO 2.0 encounters significantly reduced failures as shown here. We ran SVO on three versions of our dataset. The uncalibrated version, second on images calibrated using baseline method, and third on images calibrated using R method. We let SVO reinitialize when tracking fails. However, the baseline method cannot preserve enough contrast required for reinitialization. The tracking fails frequently for both uncalibrated and baseline datasets. Our method also helped us increase the safety of our quadrotor relying on vision-based navigation during nighttime. Now let us take a deeper look into the qualitative results. The running plot below shows the magnitude of photometric error. In slow motion, observe how our method results in a consistent appearance throughout regardless of the error. Now we let the video roll to give you a feel for the frequency and magnitude of these errors. Next, we provide some results on our custom MAV dataset. For more information, please refer to our paper. Thank you.